Hello, and welcome to History Pod. On the 18th of August 1612, the trials of nine Lancashire women and two men, known as the Pendle Witches, began. The trials of the Pendle Witches are not only some of the most famous, but also some of the best recorded witch trials in British history. This is due to a published account called The Wonderful Discovery of Witches in the County of Lancaster by Thomas Potts, the clerk to the Lancaster Assizes, where all but one of the trials took place. One interesting aspect of the trials is that the majority of the defendants self-identified as witches, or at least as village healers, who practiced what they referred to as magic in return for payment. A number of the accused even admitted to Roger Nowell, the Justice of the Peace for Pendle and Chief Prosecutor at the trials, that witchcraft had been practiced by a number of people in the area around Pendle Hill for many years. Accused of the murders of various people in and around the area, 12 people were charged. One of these was found not guilty, and another died in prison before going to trial. The other 10 were found guilty and executed by hanging. In historical terms, the Pendle Witch Trials were significant for their scale. Despite a popular belief that witch trials were a common occurrence in the early modern period, only around 500 people were executed for witchcraft throughout the 300-year period when they were carried out. Statistically, this means that the 10 found guilty in Pendle represented 2% of all British witches to face trial over three centuries. 